All right, let's have a look at tools. And a lot of people will look at Swiss Army knives, and you're going to have to excuse my hands. Any guy that works out in the bush or anybody goes camping that doesn't have hands all marked up, you know, like that, like that, they're full of shit because your hands get marked up when you're out there, whether you like it or not. Now, these are two Swiss Army knives. Um, let me see. This one here has got the magnifying glass. So this one is a um, Explorer, is what this one's called. This one does not have the magnifying glass. It's called the Super Tinker. The Explorer I keep in my truck. The Super Tinker I keep inside the bunker and I mess with it. We've got, you know, other tools we can think about. We can think about um, multi-tools, you know, with the pliers. This is the uh, wave. And it's kind of limited. I mean, we do have a knife. We have the pliers. We got a file. Got a saw for cutting wood. I mean, you got the basics with the wave. And we got a clip to attach it to ourselves, right? So. Then we got this one I got, which is a little lighter. It's a Gerber. This one I kind of like better. It's got a small knife, screw, uh, a couple screwdrivers, scissors. And it's even got a can opener and a flat screwdriver and, of course, the pliers. And they're spring-loaded. The uh, Wave is not spring-loaded. I really do like the spring-loadedness. But those are not the point of this video. The point of this video is to take this can of chicken and see how we open it. This is usually what we give the cats outside, so the cats are going to be happy when I'm done opening this, if I open it. There are two, what most people would call can openers, on a Swiss Army knife, okay? They are not doing it. This particular one here, this is a bottle opener, this one. This one has got the hook. See that hook there? That's the can opener. Same thing applies here. And most of these are pretty standard on every Swiss Army knife. Can opener. This is the can opener with the hook. This is for opening caps, bottles of beer, whatever. Now, there are certain ones, and these are both the same with the, it's pretty standard with these can openers. There are certain things you may want in a Swiss Army knife, okay? You also have to pay attention to these colored things in the top. If I pull that out, that's actually a toothpick, a plastic toothpick. If I flip it over, these are actually little tweezers. I've used these to pull ticks off me, slivers, stuff like that. So now, what I've never done with my Swiss Army knife, ever, is open a can. Now, I've opened cans with those um, Army can openers. You know, you work your way all around. They've been okay. But if shit hits, fa hits the fan, one thing you want to have in your pocket is a can opener. Now, you can carry the traditional ones. You know, you clip on and go all the way around. That would be heavy. Why do that when you can buy a Swiss Army knife? And there are tons of Swiss Army knives with the more gadgets, the more money. But uh, I'll have a link. Go to Amazon, take a look, and uh, pick up what you think you need. Every tool does something different. And uh, it's kind of nice. Like this one has the magnifying glass, so if you had some char cloth, you know, you could start yourself a, a fire if you ever got stuck, which is kind of nice. I do have a new one coming in. I have a um, Swiss Army Evil Grip S54 um, Swiss Army knife coming in. It's much better, I feel, than these ones. It has a lot more. It was a lot more money. And um, the blade is a locking blade. Where these blades, you know, these are not, um, these are not locking blades. You see? So you have to make sure you're always cutting away from you. 
and you don't shut that down on yourself. So let's take a Swiss Army knife and let's open a can and see how that works. Now ideally, I want that little round thing. Okay, I want that on that lip right there. See how that's on that lip right there? And then I want to apply pressure up, forcing the cutter here into the can. And that should cut it. So that's what we're going to see. So we're going to hold the can. And I guess we're going to put like we're going to reef it kind of like this. So this thing is going to grip the bottom of the can and this is going to grab the top of the can. Oh, that was easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is easier than the army can opener. I'll tell you that right now. You got to get like a rhythm, I guess. Now, I did see one guy's video where he had a pair of gloves on and he just kind of pushed it around the can very quickly. And he had that can open in like 10 seconds. Yeah, as long as you grab that side and you keep going, and you notice I'm not making a mess or anything. So this is this is quite easy actually. Oh, I missed that time. Okay. This is the very first time I've ever done this. I've never used this on my Swiss Army knife before. I missed the grab. Yeah, you're kind of just rocking it forward. And once you get the rhythm, which ain't too bad, I think I would have got a can that wasn't as wide. <laughs> would have made the video easier. Okay, that seemed to work pretty good. Pull the can up. Don't cut yourself. And there we go. A whole bunch of canned chicken for the cats. The end's a little dirty. Not bad. You know. Not bad at all. So, let me clean that off. So that worked really, really well. Now, you may think, you know, that's not something you'd use very often, but I'll tell you, if shit hits the fan and you're scrounging from house to house and you find some canned food, it's really going to be nice to open them. Now, I've seen some people go out on the road and scrape the heck out of the can until it opens. That would make a lot of noise and tell people where you are. So having a Swiss Army knife, I think that's a must. Now, depending on what tools you want, the price goes up. And you would look at the Swiss Army knife and you would determine and say, okay, I need the can opener. Um, I need the scissors. I need the corkscrew. I need a corkscrew. I mean, you have to determine what you need and uh, what's it going to do for you. It's too bad you can't just go to the website and build the tools you want for these. And... Um, because even that new one I ordered, there's a couple of things I would like to remove out of it. But these are probably one of the handiest tools I've ever used when I'm camping. Um, that's why I've always got one around. Like I said, I got one in the truck. I got one in the bunker. Um, the one I got coming in is for my pop pocket for my everyday carry. And uh, you're going to find that once you get using it, it really is quite nice to use. Now, you may consider... A multi-tool with the pliers to be a better item or you may consider both but um, when that new one comes in I'll do a little review you guys can have a look at it but I didn't want to just review a particular Swiss Army knife they've got them all over YouTube I wanted to actually use the can opener and see how it works and I'm really impressed it's much easier than the army can opener because you got more you can you know you can grab onto with the handle 
and you can get some reefing going up and down basically. So these things work really good. So, and I think it's standard on most Swiss Army knives, the can opener, but make sure before you buy one. Link in the bottom to go check out their store and check out everything. And uh, you can get them from extremely affordable to really expensive. It just depends on what your needs are. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one.